praise to be glorified we bless your name we magnify you somebody go ahead and worship him somebody go ahead and worship him we give you praise Ashen of days we worship you lion of judah we worship you we thank you we thank you we thank you somebody go ahead and call him names let him know that you are grateful Ela doza ishadiga borodoza elegede lekrotada let's give him praise let's give him worship let's give him honor glory be to your name glory be to your name glory be to your name we worship you hallelujah to your name blessed be your name we worship you very quickly before we step into the place of worship isaiah 65 isaiah number 65 will be our prayer for this morning isaiah number 65 verse number 20 there shall be no more hands an infant of days nor an old man that had not fulfilled his days for the child shall die an hundred years old but the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed there shall not be anyone who will not fulfill his days I want you to declare it this morning. I will fulfill my days on earth. Nothing will cut me short. I will fulfill my days on earth. There shall no more be infant on timely death. There will not be an old man and will, will fulfill his days. No, an old man that had not fulfilled, they will never be sought. It will never be recorded that you didn't fulfill your days. It will never be recorded that your family did not fulfill their days. Somebody open your mouth and make it your prayer. Lord, I will fulfill my days. I will fulfill my days. My family will fulfill their days on earth. Nothing will cut us short. Nothing will cut me short. I will fulfill my days. Nothing will cut me short. I will fulfill my days. Nothing will cut me short. I will fulfill my days. Nothing will cut me short. I will fulfill my days not till we cut me short I will fulfill my days and not till we cut me short I will fulfill my days and not till we cut me short I will fulfill my days and not till we cut me short I will fulfill my days and not till we cut me short I will fulfill my days and nothing will cut me short nothing will cut my life short nothing will cut my family short somebody pray nothing will cut my vision short nothing will cut my destiny short we will fulfill our days i will fulfill my days i will fulfill my days nothing will cut me short in the name of jesus nothing will cut me short i will fulfill my days not to cut me short i will fulfill my days 
Kele Kota, La Bozaba, La Kotaba, not to be cut me short. I will fulfill my days on earth. La Kataba Bozaba, open your mouth and declare upon Freedom Life International Christian Center, we will fulfill our days. This mandate, this vision, we fulfill its days. Not to be cut this church short. Not to be cut our vision short. Not to be cut our mandate short. Not to be cut us short. We will fulfill our days. We will fulfill our days. Not to be cut us short. Freedom Life International Christian Center. Not to be cut you short. E pa cora da vila cabosa la te cote parosa da Ita Bado, not till we cut us short. We claim life. I claim life. I receive life. Not till we cut me short. I receive life. I claim life. Nothing will cut me short. Nothing will cut my family short. Nothing will cut my destiny short. La Poco Patisa, Le Crota, Zafila, Le Cruza. Not till we cut me short. Short, not till we cut this vision short, we will fulfill our days. Freedom Life International Christian Center, we will fulfill our days. In the name of Jesus, I sense in my spirit right where we are. Let's pray for restoration. Whatever has been cut off from us. Lord, we make demand for restoration. Whatever has been cut off from my life, I make demand. Maybe some of us, our years have been shortened. Lord, restore. Restore my full old age. Restore my strength. Whatever has been cut short from my life, whatever, every privilege you cut short, please restore. Every grace that should have Extended that you cut short, please restore. Please restore. Abara Kota Lepe Zura, please restore whatever you have cut short, whatever has been cut short, whatever I was enjoying, whatever I was experiencing that has been cut short. Father, restore, restore, restore in my life, in my destiny. Please restore whatever has been. Cut short, we make demand for restoration. Whatever has been cut short, we make demand for restoration. Whatever has been cut short, we make demand for restoration. Lebara in my life, Lord restore anything that has been cut short. Lord restore anything that has been cut short. Please restore. We declare restoration. We declare restoration. We declare restoration. We declare restoration. Let's pray for restoration for the church. Freedom Life International Christian Center. We make demand for restoration. All the souls we are supposed to get since March. Father, restore. As this lockdown will be over, restoration. Restore our speed, restore our glory, and let the Shiva da Barota, La Kota Bara, and let the Bedogodo Bada, Rate Katapa de Bodosa, Equal Rudo Bara, Ragada Valibosa, let the Koda. We give you praise. Let's go ahead and worship him for answers to prayer. We bless your name. Elebo Shalam Barodo Baba do Huda. Amen, 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 Amen. 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 
Let's worship him everywhere we are. The presence of God is all over this place. He cut all over her father's eye. We land over her to Zobra Hate Copa Hava. Yes, Lord. He lava shaka do Bahava. Your name is God. Your name is God. We my Without you, I'm lost. Without you, I'm dry. Without you, there's no life to live. Oh, without you, I'm lost. Without you, there's no light to me. I surrender. I surrender to you. To you. I surrender. Mashallah. Alekopala. There's no light to me Without you, I'm lost Without you, I'm bound Without you, oh There's no light to me I surrender Let's worship you, Father. We thank you. Blessed be your name. Please, let's take our seat. We worship you, Lord. Shines 
on me, shines on me, shines on me, is your grace. Father, we thank you. Please, let's take our seats and be able to. I want to, if God permits us, we believe that we will have time. But I want to unveil some of the things we should know about God. Some of the capability and ability of God. I may be able to pick up one for today. Maybe if God permits during the week, still have our live broadcast and be able to say it out. We want to bring out some of the capability and ability of God some of the things we should know God for and I'm going to say one of them one of the, some of the things we should know God of God is God but there are other things we should know there are other attributes and things we should know God of I will give us one for today Psalm 77 verse number 14 Psalm 77 Verse number 14. Thou art the God that does wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou art the God that does wonders. So one of the things we should know about God. Don't just know him as the creator of the heavens and earth. Don't just know him as an heavenly father who is sitting down somewhere watching his children. But also know that God is the God that doeth. Is the God of wonders and also the God that doeth wonders. So that's one of the things I want to open our eyes to. Some of the things that God is because a lot of us in the midst of all these issues that is going on on the earth many of us have forgotten who god is many many can't remember many does not know who god is many many are not aware of what god can do of what god who god is particularly there is a way there is a way you go through certain problems and certain situations of life many people forget who the god they are calling is it is possible to be calling god but don't know who he is it is possible to be calling him and don't know what he can do the reason why somebody can surrender himself to a native doctor the reason why somebody can go and bow his head to another god is because they don't have the revelation of what god is and what god can do what god is and what god can do sometimes you see in scripture we have some some great fathers of faith call god by several names ebenezer el shaddai those kind of name a name that was better out of revelation out of intimacy of who he is out of intimacy of what he can do we have forgotten even in this midst of issues and problems many have forgotten what god the reason why people are afraid that maybe i'm gonna die maybe this is gonna happen to me we have forgotten who god is the reason why some people even there is they are broke no money and they feel that it is over with their life it shows that they don't have a revelation and a depth of who God is I want us to stand up for one minute and open our mouth and pray this prayer father reveal yourself to me 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 open your mouth and make that prayer father reveal yourself to me 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 me. Father, reveal yourself to me. Reveal who you are to me. I want to see more of you. I want to get things about you. Reveal yourself to me. Somebody go ahead and pray. 
Lord reveal. I want to know you more. I want to understand you more. I want to know your ability and capability. Reveal yourself to me. Jacota Parida, Lete Frida, Porodusa, Lekotobra, Tefele, Erotoba. Reveal yourself to me. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please take your seat. We want to have the capability and the ability of God. We want to know what, what God is capable of doing. What his ability is. When you understand who he is and what he can do. Then your faith becomes strong. When you understand, please take note of that. When you understand who God is and what he can do, your faith becomes heavy. Your faith becomes heavy. Your faith becomes heavy. Please, one more time, ask God to reveal himself to you. Father, show me another side of you. Maybe you have seen God as the God that can give 100,000. Why not tell him to reveal himself as the God that can give millions? He, he, he's not just the God that, that, gives on, that gives only health. He's also the God that gives beauty. Lord, reveal another side of me or you. Reveal another side of you. I want another side. Please just bow your heads for one minute. I want to make that prayer. Reveal another side of you. Karoshiba, Kete, Emprada, Liso Prade, Legede Brodo Shada. Ikopate Korosa, Elete Broko Shada, Brodoza, Rikoto Baragada, Le Soprikata Barosha, Le Freto Barada. Ikopati Shadiko Brada, reveal yourself to me. I want more of you. I want more of you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Very sharp. The scripture where we read already revealed who God is and what God can do. He said, Thou art the God that does wonders. Thou has declared thy strength among the people. So, we want to we want to understand the wonders of God. So, our God is the God of wonders. The God of wonders. The God that doeth wonders. So, what, that's another thing to establish. That God is the doer of wonders. So, if, if there is nothing you know about God, I'm going to review some things this week if we, we should still have time. But if there's nothing you know about God, know Him as the doer of wonders. God does not do wonders to prove he can do it. He does wonders because it is his nature. God does not do wonders because he wants to prove anything to anybody. God does not do wonders because he wants to he wants to prove anything to anybody or to compete. God is not in competition with any God. I God is not in competition with, with any I do. He's not in competition. You know where people come to church and go somewhere and try and say let's know whether it's working. No, God is not in competition. God does not, you don't, you is not God is not competing with the devil. Maybe the devil is doing something, he's not in competition. The devil is not the opposite of God at all. It's not the when you say what is the opposite of God, it can't be the devil. It can't be. God is not in competition with any man, with any God. So he doesn't do anything to prove anything to you. If sometimes we make some prayers, Father, Father, I want you to show me that you are God. No, he doesn't need to do anything to show. He's already God. 
whether whether you have it you don't have it is god he's doing things because it is his nature he's doing things because he's a lovely god he wants to do it am i talking to somebody here who has ever cancelled the lord who has ever given him advice who tells him to sit or to stand he's god all by himself he, 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 the scripture said why strive with your maker you, you don't need to strive with him you fight him you die you query him you die you are angry with him you go down you don't talk to him you go down he's all god by himself he doesn't do anything to prove anything to any man i feel the holy ghost here he does it because he's god ah somebody may god review himself to you ah pokoto Judah. he's not reviewing himself because of anything he wants to review himself because is God all by himself. Please take your seat. Psalm 136 verse number 4. He said to him alone that doeth wonders his mercy for his mercies endureth forever. To him alone whatever any devil does is magic. Only God does wonders. Let me say this second thing and you note that. Without the wonders of God, Christianity will be boring. Christianity will be boring. Our Christianity will be questioned. Our Christianity will be mocked without the wonders of God. So the wonders of God is what makes Christianity exciting. The God who can turn water to wine. It's exciting. It makes things exciting. Who divide the Red Sea. It's exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting to see that God can make a short leg to grow. It's very, it makes Christianity exciting. To see that the God we serve is the God that can give a closed womb. A woman who they said they have removed her womb. And yet there is children. And the woman is it's exciting. Wonders of God makes Christianity exciting. Very exciting. As a matter of fact, without the wonders of God, Christianity will be boring. Christianity will be more maybe there are people who are mocking you today they are not mocking you because you are bad they are mocking you because they are yet to see the wonders of God around you the reason for this today's service is that to let you know that your mockering is about to end God is about to do a wonder that will end your mockery you are not permitted to be a Christian without a son Lekotabadasona I declare may you see wonders may you experience wonders may you see wonders may you experience wonders may you see wonders may you experience wonders shout the loudest amen are you aware please take a seat are you aware that Elijah Elijah came to a time oh my god Elijah said to the prophet of Baal he said come let us show which God is real. You know, he said to them, call on your God. He built your altar. He permitted them to pour maybe fuel or kerosene so that it would be easy for their God to answer. He said, okay, let your God prove his God. My own God does not need to prove who. He's already God himself. I want you to understand the language. He said, build your altar. He called on the God. He said, maybe your God went for an assignment. Why, why not the Bible said that they taught themselves they, they, they stabbed themselves trying to call on their God there was no response and Elijah built the altar afresh and the old, and Elijah poured water look at the comment of Elijah he said oh Lord that this one may know that thou art the God and they are standing between two opinions they have been wondering if by his power of God is God. He said, I want you to answer me by fire. That this one may know that you are God. Hey, 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 hey. There are people who don't know that your God is God. But I pray for you. Hey, 
They will know that your God is God. I feel the Holy Ghost. They will know that your God is God. They will know that your God is God. Shout Amen. Kaloma Hoshana. That's why Exodus chapter 15 verse 11 Say please take your seat Exodus 15 verse 11 Who is like unto thee O Lord Among other God Who is like unto thee Glorious in holiness Fearful in praise Doing wonders Doing wonders Doing wonders Doing wonders Doing wonders. No one is like unto our God. Christianity is the strongest religion on earth because our God is alive. We are not serving moon. We are not buying our heads to moon. We don't bow our heads to image. We don't bow our heads to any sword. Our, our eyes is on the Lord. That's why the Bible said they look unto him and their face were like me. And that we are not ashamed. Our eyes is on you, Lord. And we look unto the Israel. We are coming my help. My help coming from the Lord of hosts. My eyes is on you, Lord. Even when men fail me, my eyes is on you. When they disappoint me, my eyes is on you. Every other God may fail, but you can't fail. My eyes is on you. Concerning this church, concerning fruit of the world, concerning blessing, my eyes is on you. And let go the bow. He said, Look unto me. Look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. My eyes is on you. Even when I am broke. My eyes is on you. I know I am not married yet, but my eyes is on you. My landlord wants to throw me out, but my eyes is on you. Hey, they can't against me, but my eyes is on you. Even my families are mocking me, but my eyes is on you. They say, when will I get married? My eyes is on you. I say, Somebody say, Lord, my eyes is on you. It's on you. It's on you. Please take your seat. It's on you. It's on you. God is not in competition. I won't bow my head to any more time. Any demon. Because you are God all by yourself. Please understand the God you serve. When you have understanding, even when doctors give you reports, you look at the report, you tell the doctor, thank you for your job. But the God I serve is the God that reverses the irreversible. It's the God that makes the impossibility to be possible. Hear this, so even in this lockdown, you can still be enjoying eating with ten fingers and you are not aware. Because the God you serve said in his word, we supply all thy needs according to his riches. slumber. He that keepeth Israel. The God will serve. The God will serve. God does wonders in the life of his children. That's why can I say this to you? Anytime you come before him, be ready for wonders. That's the third thing I want to say. Anytime you come before the Lord, be ready for wonders. Don't come before the Lord casually. Don't come before the Lord as the God of nothing. Oh, today I'm coming to church. What will happen? Come before him. Expecting wonders. Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. He said, sanctify the people. For I will do wonders tomorrow. Sanctify the people. 
For I, the Lord, will do wonders. Sanctify the people. For I, the Lord, will do wonders. When we say wonders, the God that does wonders, what do we mean? The God that does admirable things. The God that does admirable things. Things that you can admire. <laughs> The God that does wonders is the God that, that does exciting things. Things that are exciting. Things that are motivating. Things that are surprising. That's the God we are talking about. Why does God do wonders? Or what does the wonders of God do for us? Put it this way, what does the wonders of God do for us? When God performs wonders, what does he do for us? Number one, the wonders of God shifts you to another level. Anytime God performs his wonder, he shifts you to another level. He said he brought them forth out of the land of bondage by his wonders. Deuteronomy 26 verse 8 He brought them forth out of the land of bondage By his wonders By his outstretched arms So the wonders of God So when God performs his wonder He shifts you to another level You shift to another level You don't dwell where you used to be The wonders of God Moves you to another level Number two what does the wonders of God do for us? <laughs> the wonders of God terminate bondages and captivity. The wonders of God terminate bondages and captivity. Exodus chapter 3 verse 20 where God said I'm going to bring them out of bondage by my wonders. So the wonders of God terminate bondage. When God perform wonders, yoke can stay. The wonders of God terminate bondages in your life. Hear this. We are going to pray heavily. Father, perform your wonders in my life. Do something admirable. Something motivating. Something surprising. Yes. Then the third one. The wonders of God causes change. The wonders of God causes change. What does that mean? The wonders of God causes change. When God performs his wonders in your life, there will definitely be change. The wonders of God causes change. What kind of change? Change of identity. Change of identity change of stories when god performs his wonder there will be change of identity there will be change of stories change isaiah 29 verse 14 he said therefore behold i will proceed to do a marvelous works among these people even a marvelous work and wonder for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. The understanding of the prudent men shall be hidden. I will proceed to do wonders. When the wonders come, there is a change. The foolish becomes wise. Identity change. May I pray for somebody here. In the name of Jesus, the wonders of God will be performed in your life. You will see wonders. Wonders that will dominate your captivity. Wonders that will shift you to another level. Wonders that will shift you to another level. Wonders that will bring change in your life. In the name of Jesus, somebody say, Father, do wonders in my life. Say, Father, do wonders in my life. Very quickly. What does God see to do wonders? I only mention one key. 
What does God see to do wonders? What does God see to do wonders? La Kosha Paradavara. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. He said, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it is the issues of life. So the first thing that God sees before he performs wonders is the heart. The Bible said, By him actions are weighed. So God sees the heart. Before God will do anything for you, he will first of all look at your heart. Your heart matters. God does not do wonders because of your tears. He does wonders because of your heart. God does not do wonders because of your qualification. He does wonders because of your heart. The state of your heart. The way your heart is determines the way God will act. I will be crooked to them that are crooked. I will be straight to them that are straight. So how you are determines how God reveals himself. There are, there are level of heart that God expects from you. There's a kind of heart that God wants to see before he does wonders. Number one heart. It's a pure heart. A pure heart. I'll just quote the scriptures for you. You put it down. A pure heart. Psalm 24 verse 4. Who shall ascend unto the hills of heaven? He that have a clean hands and a pure heart. When God sees pure heart, he performs wonders. Number two. What kind of heart does God want to see? Number two. A humble heart. A humble heart. One whose heart is humble. A humble heart. Psalm 34 verse 18. What kind of heart does God perform wonders to? Number three. A selfless heart. A selfless heart. One whose, one whose heart is not just for himself. He's selfless. He's not thinking about himself alone. He's not thinking about his domain alone. He's thinking about other people. A selfless heart. That is Psalm 45 verse 1. The next one is a kind heart. God does wonders to a kind heart. One whose heart is kind. Who is a kind person. Who is not wicked. Who pities people. Who see people and his heart pricks and his heart is way. Such heart. Psalm 51 verse 17. The next one is a teachable heart. A teachable heart. One well, who is ready to learn. I see a lot of people. The reason why their life is limited, they are not ready to learn. They want to prove they know. There are people you ask to open a maybe you open a scripture, they already know the scripture. They don't need they don't need to whether there's a new revelation there. There are people who want to God knows I am a student till tomorrow. Even little thing I see on air, little I learn. Just pick it. I don't assume. You don't go before your your father, your mentor, your pastor, and you are you want to prove you know. No. I go before my spiritual father. I'm quiet, writing. What is he saying? Even when he has, he may, may not say anything that warrant writing, but I'm quiet. Be teachable. Be teachable. Don't assume you learn. Don't assume you know. You know what the Bible is saying. You know what the scripture is saying. Yeah, well, well, the man of God is supposed to say it like this, you know. Uh, based on what I've known, the man of God is supposed to No, be teachable. Calm down. In your office, don't always assume you know. Be teachable. Calm down. These are the kinds of hearts. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 24. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 24 Be teachable Be teachable Never come to a level in your life Where you are too big to learn Never come to a level in your life Where you don't know If you learn something And you, imp and you implement what you learn And somebody mocks you and say ah, Is it what you just heard Or what you watched that is making Tell them yes I'm a student 
always ready to learn. And when you when you come to a level where you are trying to tell someone something and the person is trying to prove to you, learn, forget the person. He does, the person is not teachable. This place is more important and I'm saying it more because many of us today are too big to learn. We believe we've arrived. We believe we know it. That's why you see a lot of people cannot submit, cannot be submissive under a grace, cannot be submissive under a pastoral care, a pastoral cover. To learn, it doesn't matter. God does not look at age. God knows you are not legible and yet he directed you under a foolish man. He has reasons. Elisha was more exposed than Elijah. Yet God sent Elisha to Elijah. It is not what you know, God. He, he, you know too much. That's why he can't use you. He's looking for people who, who under, under, under no circumstances will brag on what they know. Be teachable. And the last one, have a glad heart. Have a glad heart. A heart of gladness. Not a heart of bitterness, anger. You know, always not happy. Always complaining. Why is my life like this? A heart that feels that God has never done anything for her or he. Never have a glad heart. God sees your heart before he handles your matter. Psalm 16 verse 19 handles that. God sees your heart before he handles your matter. Have a glad heart. Always rejoice. Always rejoice. Having done this, if you cannot possess the right heart, then get ready to see wonders. If you can possess the right heart, get ready to see wonders. A pure heart, an humble heart, a selfless heart, a kind heart, a teachable heart, and a heart of gladness. If you have that kind of heart, you will see God at work heavily in your life. Be on your feet and let's pray. Everywhere you are in your living room, please be on your feet and let's give him praise. Before we start praying for God, give him praise and worship him for his word that you have heard. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. I receive the word I've heard today. I receive the word I've heard today. I receive the word I've heard today. Le poco se que paro tosa. I le peco te marata. I receive the word I've heard today. I receive the word I've heard today. Open your mouth and ask the Lord, search my heart. Search my heart. And there are anything that is not of in my heart, search me and put me. Somebody open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Search me and put me. Search me and put me. Is there impurity in my heart? Is there pride in my heart? Is there self in my heart? Is there wickedness in my heart? Is there bitterness in my heart? Search me and put me, Lord. Search me and put me, Lord. I am going to go Search me and put me, Lord. 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 Rakataka Tabaliza. Search me and put me, Lord. Put me and make me holy. Make me worthy. Make me righteous. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth where you are. Ask the Lord to do wonders. Wonders that will change my level. Ask the Lord to do wonders. Wonders that will break captivity. Ask the Lord to do wonders. What that that we need me from where I am to where I'm supposed to be. Ask the Lord to do what does. Ella Baraga da 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 da. Ishede le kotaba. Ask the Lord to do what does. Ella de de zaraga da da da. Ibra kote kota. Ask the Lord to do what does. 
ask the Lord to do wonders. Ask the Lord to do wonders. Wonders that will change my life. Wonders that will break yokes. Wonders that will break bodies. Ask the Lord to do wonders. Open your mouth and pray. Somebody pray. Pray your house. Don't be carried away. This is a real service. Alaba, Lord, do wonder in my life. Do wonders, Lord, for men to see, for all eyes to see. Lord, do wonders. Lord, do wonders. Wonders, Lord, that we break every yoke, that we break every bondage, that we break every body. Lord, do wonders. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Take the next breath. Say, Father, you are not in competition with anybody. You are God all by yourself. In the name of Jesus, perform a wonders that we silence the voice of men. Open your mouth and pray. Father, you are not in competition with anybody. You are God all by yourself. Perform a wonders. Perform a wonders. Perform a wonder, perform a wonder, perform a wonder. You are God all by yourself. You are not in competition with any man. You are not in competition with anybody. I need you to perform wonders, Lord. Wonders that will silence the voice of man. Wonders that will silence the voice of man. In the name of Jesus. Take the tongue prayer. Say, Father, I make demand for your wonders that will change my level, my identity, my story, my life. Father, I make demand for wonders that will change my life, my level, my identity, my story. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth up in a prayer. Let the fellas of Coronada, La Diga da Badiga da Barada, Le Bracosa da Dabada, a wonder, a wonder, a wonder, a wonder, a wonder, Le Coto Baro de Barocco de Barabada, Ragada Badaga da Badada Badabada, La Gada Baraga da Barobo de Bodo, Ragada Gada Bagada, a wonder, Lord. A wonder Lord, a wonder Lord that we change identity, change my level, change my story. A wonder Lord, Shala Kura Lede Zada La Baragata Badisa in Jesus' name. While we take this last prayer, if in case you have a, a, a testimony that we need to hear about, please send your testimony right now. Send it right now. You have a testimony, whether on the comment on the Facebook or you send it on the WhatsApp number, on the number that is screen on the screen right now. Send your number before we take this last prayer. Have a testimony of what God has done during any of our services, whether through the communion, the prayer, the prophecy, whatever it is. Please send the testimony right now. And anyone that has a testimony here, we can also take your testimony. Take, send your testimony right now. Something God has done while we take the last prayer. I want to lay your hands on your head and say, Father, say, Father, I hand over my life to you do a walk in my life that men will see as wonders father i hand over my life to you do a walk in my life that men and women will see as wonders open your mouth and make that prayer that's the prayer that's the last prayer Nico if you have a testimony, send it quickly and let's take your testimony. Father, I hand over my life to you. Do a walk in my life that men and women will see as your wonders. Ragada ba lo bo do ba ragada di da ba da gada. Ragada ba lo bo do bo do bo do bo do. Ragada ja da ba lo do do lo bo do bo do bo do. 
Ragada ba ragada ba rogodo. Ele gada ba lo do ba lo gado brigada. Lagada pro do gado pro rogodo. Ele pe le gado pro. Shakita ba. Ikoro dasa. In Jesus name we pray. While your hands are still there, ask God for what wonder you want. Between now and next week Sunday, we're going to be giving privilege for testimonies now. Ask God for the wonder you want. Father, between now and Sunday, maybe you are in your living room, say that, this is the wonder that I'm asking for. Ask God for the wonder you want. What you want him to perform. What you want him to do. Ask God for the wonders. Ask God for the wonders. Le shika baron. Veletu sapa. Ask God for the wonders. Ask God for the wonders. Ask God for the wonders. Eko shabara gadabada. Ask God for the wonders. Ila baroto sopan. Le brodo shabada. Le koto bragada. Ask God for the wonders. Ask God for the wonders you want. We bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. While your hands are still on your head, I'm going to...